what and warning it is. Uh, welcome back to the channel. My name is Andrew. This is gonna be kind of one of the first videos, I guess, of me doing a bit of traveling around Scotland, taking some photos and bringing you along for the journey. And hopefully it'll be fun. That's the idea anyway. So I thought I'd just show you where I am now. Just outside of Perth. Uh, I was just driving past the main road, which is there. Saw a hint of yellow, which this time of year can only really mean that uh, the rape seeds are in season. They always prove to be quite a fun field to shoot and take photos of. And yeah, so that was the plan for today. Travel about to see what we could find. And we did. So if you're here for the photography side of things, I'm using the Lumix G9 with 45 to 150. Uh, so the equivalent of 90 to 300 lens. Uh, if you're micro four thirds and have all that stuff. If you're here just for the Scottish countryside and the scenery, then here you go. This is, this is so far what you are here for. Not so much that side, but definitely this side. And uh, yeah. I want to show you more. I will show you more uh, as we venture up. I think I'll go as far as, <sighs> where'd you go as far as? Don't know, about another half an hour north from here. See what else there is, see if there's any cool places. This was just enough to be off the beaten track that I could come, park, not be in anybody's way. I'm, I'm technically not even in the field either. I managed to luckily still be on the kind of country path. Um, so not too much disruption, which is, you know the idea so yeah good uh, photos so far if you do want to see some of the photos i do take then uh the best thing to do is check out the website in the link or check out the instagram link in the uh, description below as well that'll be your best option on to the next place yeah cool this entire dirt road and i park on the only muddy bit <laughs> uh. so one spot that I've actually driven down a couple of times and never thought of stopping before is here. I don't know if you can appreciate it from this side of the road. I'm run out of so if you see that, it's like it's definitely been deliberately set up where it's like a wall of trees running along the road. It's gorgeous to see, especially since it's foggy outside. It's amazing. And what's from the other side of it though, when you go through, it's just an awesome uh, woodland. Even at six in the morning, it's, uh, it's in, a, in a bank holiday. It's getting uh, pretty busy. But yeah, I'll try and get a wee bit further out. You can appreciate how it looks. Yeah, just thought I'd show you that part. Go try and get to my car now without being run over. <laughs> And hopefully I'm going to try and take some uh, head-on shots to the, the trees because the bare parts of the wood with the green coming through look amazing. And also side-on with the grey running up the road because that also looks pretty awesome as well. Also the road I managed to park down is kind of creepy too. So look ahead. So Right. Uh, we'll see you. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Maybe you get a bit more of a, a shot on how that looks there. That's awesome. Right, the more I drive up this road, the more I love it. Uh, to the next spot. Found uh, an awesome field. Very plain on one side. Very rate weed on the other side. Very colorful. Very awesome. But it's got a kind of curve to it here. So I can't get a good view from where I am. So we're going to go up. And we'll, uh, we'll see you from there. I'll, I'll show you what I mean. I could feel 
a little bit of uh, like droplets and whatnot hit my hand when I was controlling that, which if you then look at the sky, you see how uh, cloudy it is, not cloudy, but misty it is. It's gonna be even moisture up there. So that was a quick, a quick up and down. <laughs> Just to make sure I was not going to lose the drone for that. Uh, so what we're using for flying is the DJI Mini 2, uh, which I love. Uh, the 4K is fantastic. Um, everything I'm doing here is going to be 1080p, but when you use the 4K, it's great. And uh, yeah, love that. Oh, I also have a really cool, I say cool, it's very lame, but now we're speaking about rain. Um, I have a cool thing I got from Aldi for like four pound the other day. Uh, I'll show you. I'll set it up and I'll show you. <laughs> so I've ended up in Alice, 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 but it's uh, a gorgeous little village. Um, yeah. Stunning little river. River, not even. Ah, that's pretty cool. So I've been driving about for about two hours now. Uh, seen some lovely stuff, got some lovely places. I'm still deciding on this jumper. Hmm. <laughs> um, Alice, Alice, Alice. I think Alice, very Welsh sounding. Um, it is a gorgeous little village. Don't know anything about it, couldn't tell you much. I could have definitely have Googled it beforehand and sounded smarter, but <laughs> I have no idea, but it's very, very, very nice. Very local, very community, uh, which is nice. So yeah, cool. So I'm gonna have a look at Google Maps, uh, have a look at the actual satellite photos, see what's around the area, and uh, get some something else down, and then head home. I guess that's enough for today. It's a lot done today, for sure. Uh, okay, on to the next one. So unfortunately, the weather got much, much worse by this point. And the few locations I wanted to go to, a quarry, a reservoir, and a few other bits were either mobbed by tons of cars parked along the road and you couldn't get anywhere near it, or it just wasn't safe to really film or fly or do anything else really. So I came home and then I first remembered that I was going to tell you about the <laughs> uh, novelty thing I got from Aldi. That's just the clip-on umbrella, which if you are a photographer, if you do stuff filming on your own, if you do get caught out in the rain or even caught out in the sun for heat, then this thing was only five ninety nine from Aldi. I think it's a clip-on umbrella for prams or strollers. And it really it clicks on really well to the tripod. And it's fantastic. I used it today to stop moisture getting on. Even though the G9's weatherproofed, uh, it was kind of handy to have. So yeah, just I would show you that. Ignore the back garden, it's currently being worked on. And yeah, thanks very much for watching. Much appreciated.